did you have any challenges in persuading the Philharmonic to follow your vision for either the Mahler or the Prokofiev? Everybody said, oh, this is fine. This is how we're doing it with these people. Or was there some dialogue? Uh, because every orchestra sort of knows itself and maybe is used to playing in a certain way. Do you have to come in and do a little, I don't know, politicking, a little instructing, a little, a little persuading? Mm, no. No. What I do... It's all, all just a bundle of happiness up at Avery Fisher. No, no, no. no. Um, well, <clears throat> you see, the thing is this. When you come in, first of all, when I, whenever I go to an orchestra, uh, if it is for the, for the 20th time or for the first time, I always play the piece from the beginning till the end. So they can see that I prepared myself. Okay. And then, um, of course, it's what I said just before, they have their, their, they have their traditions. And, and I have my traditions. And then you have to pair them. So it is not that everything I want or everything uh, I bring with me is going to be on that stage. I always like to talk with them like, let's, um, that I always talk with we want this or we want that. So I try also to catch their uh, traditions and their DNA of, of the piece which they're playing. And then during that rehearsal time, you, get, you are starting here and then you do this. And then certainly it has to, it has to be one, one organism. And um, I can tell you that f f with last week, that came close very fast mm. together. Yeah. And so that was a very, very beautiful road, actually. Uh, and of course, you know, not every night is the same, as I told you. But I, I had a very uh, natural um, contact with them. Yeah. Very good.